there, and welcome back to Weird Soda for Life. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to have this soda go down the hatch. Ah? Ah? Well, okay, in this case, you don't have any context for this, but anyway, welcome back. Today, we are trying another Jones Soda special release. Um, I was in my local Meyer the other day, picking up some cold cuts, being adventurous with roast beef. That sounds bad. Don't Don't write that down. But anyway, I was grocery shopping, and this vibrant green soda caught my eye. Obviously, I'm intrigued, especially when it had a nice yellow label. So I went over and picked it up, and it's Jones Special Release Hatch Chili and Lime. Uh, so I did a little research about this. I'm not going to go into Jones Soda stuff. Um, watch the IC video. Um, but I did a little bit of research about Hatch Chilies. So Hatch Chilies are chilies that are only grown in the Hatch Valley of New Mexico. I don't know if they have like a passport or something that they check, but uh, it's kind of like the chili version of Chardonnay, I suppose. Um, and uh, if you didn't know that Chardonnay had to be grown in a specific region in France, well, now you do. <laughs> I'm full of facts today. Uh, anyway, so I found that fascinating. There's a Hatch Chili Festival every uh, Labor Day in New Mexico as well. People really love these. Um, I've had Hatch Chilies in queso. I don't know if I've ever eaten it on its own. I'm not a huge pepper eating, like singular pepper eating fan though. So I'm probably not the one. Uh, I like peppers and chilies like mixed in with my food. I just not eating them like, like a crunch bar, I guess. Um, but... I was intrigued, and I thought to myself, well, let's pick that up, and let's uh, give it a whirl. So again, I'll give you another look at the bottle. Um, it says, real labels with natural flavor. And then when you go down to the bottom over here, it says, very mild. Uh, that is actually um, one of the trademarks of a Hatch Chili. Hatch Chilies are quite mild. They are uh, less spicy than a jalapeno. And if you pick them early enough, they have like a smoky flavor. Uh, Jones also acknowledges this. It says, uh, get ready for the flavor fiesta that is Jones Hatch Chili and Lime Soda. This special release combines the bold flavors of smoky Hatch Chilies uh, with a refreshing zing of lime. It's like a hot summer romance, but in liquid form. I don't want a hot summer romance, especially in liquid form. That just seems gross. Do better, Jones. Anyway, it will perk you up, uh, but not melt your face off. Unlike a hot summer romance. Whatever. Uh, warning, drinking this soda may cause spontaneous salsa dancing and sudden cravings for tacos. Let me assure you now, I don't know how to salsa dance. So if most, you're going to just watch me have a craving for tacos. Um, but yes, again, it's a very vibrant green. Um, I don't think the camera does it much justice. Oh, you can see it's 100 calories. Uh, but it is made with uh, cane sugar. With that... See what we're after. Oh, something I wanted to note that I didn't note the last time, and I wish I had. So Joe and Soda, twist off. Hell yeah. Uh, always has a little quote underneath the cap, and this one says, keep your wits about you. Um, so guess, <laughs> uh, keep your wits about you. With that, let's see. It smells a lot like lime. Um, I'm trying to think of an equivalent of it, but it was, it's a different lime smell than the key lime pie soda we had. But the key lime pie swear, soda had like a sweeter scent of lime as well. But I think that's because it was trying to invoke a pie, right? And this is trying to invoke like a lime, the fruit. Um, with that, down the hatch. Okay, so I think in this scenario, I'm really kind of um, a little bit behind the eight ball with regards to what hatch chili should taste like, because again, I'm comparing it to my queso. Um, so maybe I'm not the best judge of the soda. The soda is good. Um, you can taste the lime there, 
but it also tastes a, it tastes a little smoky too. Uh, but it it kind of makes me think of a fresh green pepper. Um, you know when you bite into a pepper and it's got like that crisp it it tastes fresh for lack of a better word. That's what that is. It's like smoky, fresh taste with a splash of lime in it. Um, I did find it quite refreshing. Um, and yeah, I guess if I'm having some tacos with uh, um, chorizo and a bit of lime splashed on it too, this would be great for that and a nice little salsa. But I mean, it's crisp. Uh, it's not a lime soda. It, it, it's it's something uniquely different. Um I would say it didn't blow me away, but the truth of the matter is, again, maybe I wasn't the best market for this because I don't have a point of reference for what a hatch chili should taste like on its own. Um, I would say, again, if you see this, go get it. I always think, though, it's worth trying all the special releases from Jones. And considering that the past two Jones sodas we've had have tasted very, well, past two Jones sugar sodas we've had because we had that turkey and gravy and that was awful. <laughs> absolutely awful um but the last two sugar sodas we've had um uh, from jones really do taste like the foods and drinks that they're trying to emulate i would highly suspect that this does too um i liked it i just guess i don't have a point of reference next week um my cousin Lori from florida sent me a box of four sodas um all of which i haven't tried i I haven't opened it yet because I'm excited about it and I'm trying to eke out my my joy from that. Um, <laughs> but I'll be trying one of those and we'll see where that goes. And I do have a theme for June. Uh, so prepare yourself for a probiotic soda month. <laughs> Some of you have been asking for this and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but my body is a delicate house of cards with regards to stomach troubles and things. So maybe this is going to be the thing that really clears it up for me. Or maybe it's going to be the thing that really ruins it for me. We're going to find out together. <laughs> and if nothing else, you'll, you'll at least know what some of those things taste like. So we'll do one week next week of a uh, cousin sponsored soda from Lori. And then we'll move into probiotic month, uh, which I can feel your excitement already. Also, uh, we're coming back with Guest Star July, and if you are interested in being a guest star with a soda, hit me up. You can message me on Facebook or on YouTube. Uh, suggest the soda. I'll see if I can get it. If I can get it, we're on like Donkey Kong. We'll do the interviews through Zoom, or if you are close to where I live, I'll meet you where you're at, and we can film together using like my laptop. Uh, but until next time drink weird and uh stay warm don't get chilly ah, ah, two for one ah. see you next time